Hello, CFFs. How are you guys doing on this gorgeous Sunday afternoon? Let me open my blinds a little bit more. And of course, I live on the busiest street in the world. <laughs> well, not really, but anyway, I am here to do my Sunday layout. And I wanted to show you guys how I do it. So, but before I get into all of that, if you're new to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing. Just hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload a video. And if you're brand new, thank you so much. I love you guys for subscribing. Love you, love you. And for all those that have been with me for a while, thank you for your support, your love, your words, your kind words. I really do appreciate it. So we are going to get started. Let me just make sure that I'm focused. I think I am. I hope you guys can see. Okay, so... Once I do my page, I'm going to be deciding between these. And if you guys can see, I'm going to decide between these right here. And I'll show you as I get into it. I am doing Sunday. And I always go in and I take these out. That's the beauty of working in this planner. You get to make it your own. The things that you don't use, you can actually fix it and incorporate it the way you want it. And today is Renew, Refuel, and Restore Sundays. So I am going to put this on here. And if you follow me on my Facebook group page, you know that we go through the Bible in a year. And every year, January 15th, we start over again. And so we're currently um, starting over. And if you follow me on my Facebook group page, I post where we're reading every single day there. Um, so I, I'm always posting something up. And... I put a uh, scripture there and I uh, put a scripture, I put where we're reading and these I print out where we're reading. I put it in here because, I don't know, I just want to put it in there because I want everybody to know and I want to remind myself uh, where we're reading it so that's how I start out then the next thing I do is I go to my little cutouts and this is from the faithful heart shop everyone knows I love to shop at the faithful heart shop so now I got to figure out what which ones I want to use and they're all so so pretty and i just don't know are you guys are you guys seeing this are you are you seeing my little oops sorry i bumped into you guys um i'm not sure which ones i want to use and so this is what's left over from the kit i purchased on etsy and it is i like this so I'm thinking I want, I definitely want to use that. And I don't know, maybe this. This is kind of big, but I just love it. Well, this right here, I know for sure, I'm going to put right at the bottom. And I print all of my, my printables. Uh, I'm going to put it right here. All of my printables I print on Avery, my Avery Clear labels. They're full, full sheet labels, and I print on those. So I just like clear. I just, even when I'm ordering things, I like to order clear if I can. 
but if not you know I go ahead and, and order but I really do prefer the clear uh, when I'm when I'm uh, it's like too many big things at one time. <laughs> so I guess this is going to go on a different day because I have more. I have more, but I really want this. I'm not really sure where I want to put it, but I think I'm going to put it on here if I can. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, guys? So, how is everyone doing today? It is a gorgeous day here. It's about 67 degrees. That's been better than it has been. It's been really cold. Um, we've been having a cold spell. So um, now it is. Hmm, let me get this fish. Because once you put this down, that's the only drawback with Avery Clear. Oh, see, like I just did. Once this down, it's down. You can't. <laughs> Oh my God, you can't get it up, but you know, we're not perfect. Oh, okay, got it down. And I think that's all I'm gonna put on that page. Of course, I could go over to Mondays and put something on Monday, but I think I'm not. I think I'm gonna just do that. So how have you guys been? How is everything going? I hope you guys are having a a really good day. I hope everything is good in your world. I hope you're um, <clears throat> enjoying things. You know, I was thinking today as I was working um, in my planner and <clears throat> I was thinking about some things and I said, I wonder, yeah, I'm flipping over to Monday. Sometimes I get excited and I just, I go ahead and get going. So I was wondering, like, sometimes we feel like God doesn't hear our prayer. I know sometimes I do. How about you guys? It's like you're praying, but nothing's happening. And so, and here's my Monday titles. And I just kind of feel like, you know, maybe sometimes God's not listening, but then... I read in 1 Peter 3 and 12, and it says, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So I know that God's ears are open to us. We don't ever have to worry about him hearing our prayers. His ears are open to us. He's ready to answer our prayers according to his will. We have to remember that. It's according to the will of God. And so we should never feel like that God doesn't hear us because he does. Um, 1 John 5, 15 says, And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. So our petition is laid out there for him and he has it. And now we have to be patient and wait for him to answer. And it's according to his will that he answers. So we should never worry about the Lord hearing our prayers or our prayers not being answered. That's gorgeous. I'm, I think I'm going to do that. But I'm not going to put another thing on that page. I'm just going to do that right there. God hears us. Never worry about that. He hears our prayers. Why? Because we love him. And he wants us to come to him. He wants us to come to him in prayer. He wants us to lay our petitions out before him and call on him. And so we should never worry about God hearing our prayers. But we also have to be patient 
and let him answer our prayers according to his will. I know we want a lot of things, but some things might not be good. And so he gives us his best. Why? Because he wants his children to have the best. And so we should never doubt if God hears us, our prayers. So many scriptures in the Bible that lets us know that yes, God hears our prayers and he is attentive to our cry, our needs, and the prayer that we lay out before him, what we're asking for. He's there. He's, he's there to help us, to, to guide us, to direct us. And the only thing we have to do is just lay the prayer out, then stand in faith and know that God will answer at his due time and that he's going to give us exactly what we need for what we pray for. Sometimes we don't know how, <laughs> we don't know what we're asking for. And we ask for things thinking that, yeah, this is going to be good. But God sees so much further down the road and he knows just what we need. And so if we be patient, I, I'm not, well, yeah, I know I can be impatient myself. But if we just be patient and just wait for God to answer, he always gives his best. That's what's so beautiful about really serving God and taking our prayer request to him and with our needs and our wants. He knows what's best for us and he knows just when to give it to us in his time, not our time, because we want everything right now, right? Instant gratification. But he knows exactly when to give us what we need. And so we need to remember that and, and not get anxious or feel like he's not listening or he's not going to do um, or he's not going to hear our prayers or, or, you know, answer our prayers. He will answer, but we must give him time to answer. And we have to be okay with what he answers with. So if it's no, it means he has something better. If it's yes, you have to wait for the time. He knows just the right time to give it to us. And if he doesn't say nothing, someone told me, just because he hasn't said anything doesn't mean he's not going to do anything. Okay, so <laughs> don't get antsy. Don't get antsy. Just give him time and he will definitely step in. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. I just came on because I wanted to set up Sunday. I wasn't intending on going over to Monday, but this was so pretty. I could not help it. I just had to. So I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. I hope your day goes fabulous. Remember to focus on all the good things in your day. And remember that your life has purpose. God has a purpose for you. And we have to just accept his will and his direction for our lives and know that he only has the best for us. So until I come on next time, guys, have a great day. And remember, every day is a good day when you focus on the good that's in your day. Okay, see you later. Bye, guys.